crowd out high. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Picked up along the wall by Lindholm. Carolina's game possession along the boards. Now a quick pass to Tara Vinen. A chance. That's loved by Thomas. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Here's a short pass to Slavin. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bergeron. And a strong effort on that play. Anderson's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Marshawn's release is so fast, it's hard for goalies to read. His make it snappy zone ability makes him an excellent scorer. Aho's a great playmaker. He's got that third eye zone ability, which means he reads the ice so well that finds his teammates with great passing plays. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Thomas off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit, you need your goalie to help you out. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Nietzsche wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Bruins play it along the boards. Pass in front. Another pass. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Pacioretty's got it in the defensive end. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Quick pass to Smith. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken by Pesci. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. Anderson's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. More than half the frame has been played here. Still looking for our first goal. Let's go the Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Kasha. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Still has possession. Centering feed. He scores! What a goal! The Hurricanes finally open the story here in this one. Been a pretty tight period so far. The initial goal might creep the door open a little bit for more offense. Carolina's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Boston's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kotkaniemi. Makes the save. Thomas is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. Carolina's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is in front! And he gets in the lane to block that. The Bruins gain the zone. And now he tries to get it across to Riley. Oh, wow, what a bad save by Anderson. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. Lindholm's got it against the boards. Moves it to McAvoy. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, what a slick stop by Anderson. That's a lot of hard work for him to make this stop because he's got to find the puck first before he can get his body in front of him. Here he is, wrestling on that. Great glove save.
Ajo's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Keeps holding the puck. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Back to the point it goes. And a huge stop by the goaltender on point blank range. It's a really good save. In tight, he shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck, and there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Ray Ferraro is standing by with his assessment of the first period between the benches, right? The Bruins have to rebound after that sluggish start, James. It's like they had the heavy boots early in that first period. They never had the puck, and as a result, they're chasing this game right now. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bergeron. Handles it again. Puck picked up by Pasternak. And it's a quick pass to McAvoy. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. Denies him with the pad. Wrist shot from the slot. Too much traffic in the lane. Slides the puck to McAvoy. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pasternak. Pesci's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Pacioretty's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Slavin. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. You can actually gain a little momentum here if the penalty killers do the job. Down a goal, if they kill this, you're going to have some jump. The Hurricanes will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Thomas gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice, get yourself restarted. Frederick's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. And he regains control of the puck. Nice zone entry from the left. Cuts into the paint. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Hammers a shot. Came up with a nice save. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't find his man. The Hurricanes can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. Boston's looking to break out. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Into the attacking end. Scooped up along the wall by Sutter. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Here he is from the slot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. More than half the period has expired. Carolina's up one zip. Ajo's won the draw here in the offensive zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Slavin. Grabbed along the board by Hall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Pucks it away in his own end. Pesci's crossed the line and gained the zone. And he was ready for that one. Thomas has kept this game close. I don't know if it would be this way if it wasn't for his heroic goal. 
Getting into the later stages of this period, the Hurricanes lead it 1-0. won the draw. Scrum along the wall. Sends a pass over. Oh, and it's just wide and on the play on. He's going to shake his head when he sees this because he's, he's in as good a scoring spot as you're going to get to all night. And he just misses the net. Poked away in the neutral zone by Zaka. Along the half wall with the puck. Denies him in close. Denies him again. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Poked away in the offensive zone by Zaka. Pushes it across to Coyle. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Bruins are trailing in this game, and really sometimes the stats tell you the whole story. They have not had the puck very much, and as a result, they're not generating any offense. Takes the feed, and he was ready for that save. There's back-to-back -back saves. Boston's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it to Bergeron. Great defensive play at center by Karabinen. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Quick pass to Svechnikov. The Bruins have it from their own end. And he slides it quickly to Bergeron. Quick feed down low. Fires it. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice quick pass. That opportunity is rejected. Well, that's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Lindholm's taking the puck behind his net. Looking for space inside the D zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. More than half the period left to play. Carolina's ahead 1-0. The Bruins win the faceoff. Tries it to the crease. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Anderson. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Slides the puck across to Krejci. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. Moves it on over to Pesci. Pacioretty's got the puck. Receives the pass. Of it once again. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. The big challenge in a game like this is while you keep missing chances as a team, don't get frustrated. Just keep providing more, and hopefully you get the next one to go. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets the puck in deep. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. And that goes off course wide. The Bruins have had plenty of chances to be in a different spot in this game. Looking to make something happen along the boards. From point blank. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Picked up along the boards by Pacioretty. 
And now he moves it quickly to Kotkaniemi. Carolina's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. A lot of times a guy will get called for slashing because his stick breaks. When I played, it was wood. You couldn't break that thing if you tried. The power play unit goes right back to work. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Takes the puck. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slides the puck over to Foligno. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Oh. He scores! And a big one for him there. That's a pretty critical goal in the playoff here. It's his first ever. The Bruins are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. The Hurricanes win possession here in the open ice. Tries to get the puck to Jarvis. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Quick feed to Polino. Can't make the connection on the pass. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. I know what he's trying to do, get into space to shoot it, but now you got to chase because you've turned it over. Pass broken up. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. The Hurricanes work it through center. Puck grabbed by Pasternak. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Now you don't have to build a new hotel every time you have the puck. Just get the thing forward. Don't turn it over. Don't make a mistake that allows him to come back and push against your team. Poked away in the neutral zone by Stroman. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Goalie on the bench, and the extra attacker's out for a much-needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face-off. There's the one, and this brings this one to an end. They're going on. I mean, how many times have we talked about the goals out of the game being the hardest to win? They finally pull that out. Well, you knock them out, and you know they're going to fight as long as they possibly can. You get to move on, you get a couple of days breathing at least to look forward to the next series. Can't always be easy for one end of the ice, but love the R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Man, this is so hard to go through there and try to be respectful to the guys that have just beaten you. But really, it is a great tradition that I think enhances the sport. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.